affordable health care for all would seem to be a fundamental objective for a wealthy nation like ours. The question is, how do we get there? First, let's define the current problem. This pie chart graphically shows that 91% of our population is currently covered by some form of health insurance. So the focus needs to be on how do we get coverage for the remaining 9% which constitutes 29 million people. Many, if not most, of the 2020 Democrat candidates for the presidency are touting Medicare for All, which sounds, on first blush, like a great idea, but it emphatically is not. Medicare for All would mean that the 91% who have insurance would have to give it up in favor of joining a big government-run program. This would be like turning Federal Express over to the government. How long would it take until FedEx deteriorated into the United States Postal Service? Not long. And what about the health insurance industry? Does it just go away? But if Medicare for All is not the answer, what is? Who are these 29 million people who do not have health insurance currently. Well, they are working families and families with low incomes. And why do they not have coverage? Well, for all the reasons you might expect. Costs too high, lost a job, and what would it cost these people to get health insurance? Well, a family can get health insurance for $1,168 per month. So if we take that $1,168 and apply it to the 29 million people uninsured and assume that that 29 million people is composed of three member families which seems reasonable. The problem becomes insuring 10 million families and a $135 billion problem. And what are the uninsured costing us now? a hefty $84.9 billion in uncompensated care. But if we had health care coverage for all, that $84.9 billion problem would basically go away, leaving us with a net problem of $50 billion. Still, a lot of money. But now assume those receiving this coverage are actually able to pay 20% of the premiums. Sounds reasonable. That would be $27 billion and bring our net cost problem down to $23.5 billion. Again, still a lot of money. In 2016, our total medical costs were $3.4 trillion. So, a measly one penny of each one dollar of medical cost more than pays for all people to have health insurance. 